Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. in there. Fine. Gracie there? Oh, it's on. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay, you probably would have won. Probably. BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind and gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Ino Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. This place, this Vault is a sacred temple. 
built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young force sensitives throughout the galaxy. Ahead, you will find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zephyr once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Go to the Zephyr homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I guess you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for a while now, without any purpose, just hiding. There's no way to live, not for a Jedi or a droid. Maybe Seer was right. Maybe we're done hiding. Hey. You want to meet some, uh, friends of mine? Check it out. I think I found what you wanted me to see. Sounds like you did. We'll be waiting. How are you feeling, BD-1? Good. I'm glad. I'm looking. My friend, it appears the Zephyr had some interest 
in death and you. It's strange. For such a peaceful culture to have any sort of fascination with a place so dark. Should be a lot quicker than the way in. Looks like it smells worse than Grease does. Hey, BD-1? Just checking on you. was killed. Is it trying to defend its family? this place. Did I use this place to study the sphere above? I can still feel the excitement.
Pass the test. So you knew about BD-1? Come on board. We'll talk inside. Oh, BD-1, this is Grease. Hey, Grease. What is that? <laughs> get off my sofa! Get, get off my sofa! Don't get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. I don't care who he's with. Do you have any idea how hard it is to get oil stains out of Patoli V fabric? Not really. Oh. I hope you found something better out there than this droid. Oh, calm down, Grease. He did. Tell us, Cal. The vault was built by an ancient civilization called the Zepho. A Jedi named Eno Cordova hid something inside of it. What did he hide inside? A holocron from the archives. It contains a list of Force-sensitive children. <sighs> the next generation of Jedi. I knew it! Ah, oh, Cordova, you old fool. You knew him? Yes. A long time ago. I was his apprentice. Cordova was a loner. And that little droid and I are probably the only ones that know about Pagano. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. A holo what? A holocron. It stores information, but only accessible to Jedi. Hang on, I think I have one around here. Use the Force. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen. With that list of Force Sensitives, we could rebuild the Jedi Order and defeat the Empire. Okay, no problem. Let's get it! Well, except the Holocron is hidden deep inside the vault, and to get it, we have to follow Cordova's path. He mentioned something about the planet Dathomir and a Zepho homeworld. All right, well, where are we going? I'm just asking because I was thinking of maybe making some food. Look, before we do anything, I need to know something. How come you're no longer a Jedi? I had an experience that changed my perspective. So I cut myself off from the Force. But you still want to rebuild the Order. I believe that rebuilding the Order is the best chance we have against the Empire. What do you believe? I believe I can't keep hiding from the Empire, so I don't really have a choice. Cal, as long as you're alive, you will always have a choice. Are you with us? We're in. <laughs> Dathomir Zepho, it's your choice. Where to next, Cal?
Must be hard watching all your friends get gunned down. I mean, you know, purged or whatever. What? It helps to talk about it, right? No? Yes, it was difficult. But you must hope, not forget. We must remember the mistakes of the past and change things going forward to make sure they never happen again. Sounds like you're not too sure everything is gonna work out. I'm not. That's why adaptation is important. Whether it's a course of action or an idea, we all have to be ready to change. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Yeah, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Uh, copy that. Couple bubs ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Of it's under control, it's just a little tricky. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Perfect landing. <laughs> Greasy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. You did good work on Pagano. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I need a second. <laughs> 